Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and I'm speaking to you from the west of Ireland to tell you about my Druid Forest School courses and in particular mystical energy work and in particular within that work with the three cauldrons method of the ancient Irish Druids that has come to us through a medieval manuscript. And it's quite a wonderful system for reviewing where we are at in three huge different areas of our life. Where we are at at any particular time, which will change as we go along our life path. Give it, getting good insight into three huge energy and mystical consciousness areas of our life. So it's part of my Druid Forest School courses where always I cross-relate to your Western astrology and your Vedic astrology and see what insight that gives into our destiny, into areas we can work with and into perceptions where we can benefit from healing and empowerment and indeed Maggie and I run a healing centre near here in the west of Ireland and all my many many courses are geared to healing and empowerment. Okay so what is the three cauldrons method? Well basically it's a system used by the ancient Irish Druids where in a sense there were three energy centres, awareness centres three nexuses within our body and so the first is sort of in the abdomen area the cauldron of formation so that's about our physical health which of course is very affected by things like past lives and heredity current emotions the working out of current scripts and so the ancient Irish Druids envisage the first cauldron, the cauldron of formation in the abdomen area. So when we're visualizing it in the exercise, we, it's a good idea to place the palm of your hand on the area of that cauldron. And so you look at it. So the first thing to notice might be, well, which way up is the cauldron? Is it upright? Is it on its side even? Or is it even upside down? And what are the contents of the cauldron? Are they sparkling energies of light and power? Or are they murky, tainted liquids in the cauldron of decay and harm, for example? So the first thing is we place our hand on the lower abdomen area and we visualize our cauldron. We see what state it's in and what may be in it. So the second cauldron is the cauldron sort of in our heart area. And here again we envisage, as the ancient Irish Druids did, the cauldron here called the cauldron of vocation and this is about our emotional health and well-being and again we can vision see the state of the cauldron is our cauldron upright on its side or even upside down and what is in the cauldron of our hearts now and that can change so much at different times of our life and then maybe we will want to bring change to that cauldron. Write it if it's upside down. Empty it if it's full of putridity. Refill it with light and energy and clean it. And the third cauldron is in a sense our pinnacle. It depends on the state of the lower two cauldrons. And the third cauldron is our head. 
Now the ancient Irish Druids had this perception, which I believe in, that we incarnate to, mani to manifest our special spark, a special quality, or perhaps several special qualities indeed, special qualities which will meld and combine. And so we did not incarnate to be world-denying, to turn into robots. We incarnated to manifest a special power, spark. And so this is the cauldron of what they called the fire in the head. And in a sense it's a poetic manifestation. And the three cauldrons are actually called the cauldrons of poesy or the cauldrons of poetry. And so we place our hand on our head and we see the state of that cauldron. Is it upright? Is it on its side? Is it upside down? And what is in it? And in it may be all sorts of damaging and diverting entities you know, the fluids of the cauldron could be very dark, obstructing us from seeing what we should see. And what we should see is the fire in our head, our own special spark. And again, particularly in, in, in astrology, and particularly in Vedic astrology, I can share with you the identification of what is your special spark what each of the planets represent in your destiny, in your chart, and therefore in your life, and how they treat each other. This is a wonderful thing about the Vedic astrology I teach and do readings with, how the different planets teach each other, uh, treat each other, and there's a very good system for accurately identifying this. And so the purpose is to actually heal inbuilt scripts which damage us so that we can identify the fire in our head. A metaphor particularly to do with the Vedic sign where my son is, which is Chitra, is the pearl. You know, see before you a dull shell, but then when that shell opens as life progresses, the beauty of a pearl is revealed. But the ancient Irish Druids particularly taught that there was fire in our head. We aren't here to be robots of this society. We aren't here to you know, be the victims of the control systems that were set over us in childhood and in our jobs and so forth. We are here for the fire in our head to take light and burn. And this is what the Three Cauldrons course is about. So I do look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.